Hello, welcome everyone to Court of the Rings on twitch.tv slash LotroStream. I'm Lotro's Community Manager, Cordovan, and I'll be with you for the next hour doing some Q&A. We'll have a little bit about the latest news. We've got the Spring Festival and a patch coming up and a Bull Roar preview. And then I'm going to go in-game and we'll continue the story of Before the Shadow. We had a pretty exciting time last time where we finally met the Nazgul face-to-face -face in an instance, retelling of a story of what happened. And uh, we're dealing with the aftermath of that, really, during the kind of gameplay part today. So... How's everyone going, or doing? Hope you're doing well. We had a busy week here on the Lotro side. So one of the things we're working toward is a patch for next week. That should be update 34.3. And I shared, I believe, some early release notes with you last week. Most of that stuff still is the same. But one thing that I neglected to mention last week because it wasn't quite ready to distribute yet, is some information about the Spring Festival. The Spring Festival arrives March 9th, so that'll be next Thursday starting at 10 a.m. Eastern, and it runs until 3 a.m. Eastern on March 28th. We do have a guide over on Lotro.com if you're like, well, how do I Spring Festival? You can do that over on Lotro.com, but I got some news I can share with you a little bit today because we have, uh, I can get you some of the new items that are in this festival. It's going to feature new cosmetic cloaks, a cosmetic pet puppy, and some new housing decorations available for barter. The festivity vendor will have a new cosmetic shield. And I know that some people have been wanting a cosmetic shield, so that should be cool. And a sickle fly cosmetic pet. Uh, specifically, we've got like a cloak and hooded cloak of new growth, um, also in a selection box. Tome of the White Puppy, Cozy Teapot, Wall-Mounted Shield of New Growth, The Roaring Bull in Signpost, Small Grove of Flowering Spring Trees, Small Grove of Early Spring Trees, White Flowering Spring Tree, Flowering Spring Tree. We got Large, Early, White, and Flowering Spring Trees, uh, Ruined Arnorian Bridge, Small Arnorian Watchtower, and an Arnorian Entryway. Uh, I think I should back up on that shield. It sounds like it's a wall-mounted shield, so that would be a housing deco item rather than a cosmetic shield uh, for the game, which I know some people want. But Oh, no, we do. Cosmetic shield of new growth with a spring festivity barter. So we have the wall-mounted version and, and the cosmetic shield version. Sweet. Uh, also, the Tome of the Adorable Sickle Fly is the name of the spring festivity barter item. Now, in the... Um, Boss from the Vaults Red Maid this year. They will have the same rewards as last year, but the cloaks at level 140 are going to have a higher item level this year as well. So the same rewards from Boss from the Vaults, but the cloaks will have a higher item level. And uh, otherwise, um, the a couple of things to mention for update 34.3, and I, I think I mentioned this last week as well, is that it will include a fix so that level 140 characters that have been hanging on to their Ill Omens Essence bounties uh, from completing the Deed Skirmish Assault Ill Omens Tier 3 will now be able to use the item to receive a level 140 Delver's Lively Essence box. That'll be after 34.3 is released next week, but probably next Wednesday is the, the goal for that anyway. Stay tuned for downtime and what have you. Um, otherwise, there's some localization and kind of minor uh, bug fixes I won't go into. And we're updating the featured instance rotation to include Great Barrow, Thedur, Dungeons of Nairband, Library of Tyr Madan, uh, Warg Pens of Dol Guldur, uh, Asked Mazal, the Chamber of Shadows, and Heligrad, a Giant Wing. And uh, the featured instance cap quest will no longer require Tier 2 completion of the instance as well. So that is all happening next week. We've got the start of the Spring Festival on Thursday, patch on Wednesday. That Tuesday, uh, potentially, if everything goes well, we'll have our third preview of Bull Roar of Update 35. We had hoped to have that out this week, but unfortunately some process issues came up and we were unable to get the preview out the door this week. I uh, apologize for that. Happens, unfortunately, sometimes. But we are set for next week then as well. So next Tuesday, uh, I believe, should be our uh, preview, assuming we can get everything worked out by then. So stay tuned for downtime, but that's the goal is to, um, or not downtime, but uh, stay tuned for more information on the Bull Roar forums 
um, about that. But that would be a, a rough goal. would be something like next Tuesday. Let's see. I do not have picks of the rewards yet. Uh, they will be, you know, they're, they're being hooked up and ready, made ready for the patch. And as soon as everything's ready, I'm going to try to take some shots, but there we go. Any other questions? Uh, no, no, no new mount that I saw on the reward list this time for the spring festivity barter. I know that there's a, at least a, some number of folks out there who would like us to do some new mounts for like festival rewards and perhaps that's something we can do in the future but uh no is the answer i don't think we have one set here for the spring festival we'll have to we'll have to we'll have to get that for you in the the future when we're when we're ready to so all right what else do i got i think that is oh actually there was one other thing i wanted to mention uh this actually happened on monday let me see if i can quick just add this to the screen fortunately the the uh browser source on obs isn't quite as robust as i would like but you can see we did have a developer diary this week that got released on locher.com for delvings. And uh, yeah, this is just not going to work, so I'm going to have to get rid of that part of the screen here. All right. Well, you can find it on locher.com. And we talk a little bit about some of the work that we'll be doing in delvings for update 35, general balance adjustments like lowering health damage and alert, difficulty modifiers for enemies across mid-high difficulty tiers, uh, new malices, adjustments to existing malices, and a faster malice rotation. We're consolidating uh, some of the delving gems, and we're making some adjustments to the rewards. And you can find that over on Locher.com. You can also talk about it over on the Locher forums. And, uh, yeah, we're looking forward to seeing these changes. This is really just a reflection of the work that's been done since um, Delvings were released with Before the Shadow and, and kind of responding to your feedback in addition to kind of our own polish that we've been wanting to do. So uh, I could take a look at that as well. I, I don't Maybe Monday is old news by this point, but, uh, but if you haven't seen it yet, please do take a look. I think that's really mostly what I have for news here today. So I think, why don't I get my game client going and uh, we will... make it happen All right. yes so sh good thank you uh, that was something I wanted to bring up for the stream you know actually let me let me get logged in before I swap over quick so um let me find that where did i i wanted to make sure i had my messaging correct but yes uh shadow facts just received an update uh this wednesday to a level cap of 130 uh that includes minus morgul war of three peaks and blood of azog so shadow facts was actually updated this week to 130 and uh it's treebeard is going to have its horse session play activate on April 7th, um, kind of a weird time on that, 9.15 a.m. Not quite sure what the timing is on that, but, but that'll be happening on Treebeard with Horse Session Play. Uh, Shadowfax is going to hit its level cap of 140 and get Gundabad uh, in May, early May, in our public event schedule currently. And then Treebeard actually doesn't see its level cap increase of 85 to include Rohan and Wildermore until June. That would be June 7th on that one. So uh, that's really what's happening on the Legendary Worlds is we're, we're making quick progress as expected on Shadowfax and uh, taking our time on Treebeard. And uh, that's, that's currently how it's supposed to be. <laughs> Real talk time. Since my public-facing characters are named things like Hergler for Hobbit Burglar and Stampion for Stout Axe Champion, 
and also Dwinstrel, the Dwarven Minstrel, etc. Uh, how would I name a Bjorning? That would be very difficult, wouldn't it? Maybe I'd have to lean into the trait tree or something like that. Figure out uh, something there. Or maybe I could, I would just have to find some other kind of pun. I can't think of something right off the top of my head. I'm kind of stuck. Huh. I don't have an immediate answer to that question, but I will have to think about it. So, uh, we're here to help Halbarad, and uh, we are here in the Sarn Ford. Uh, we've just been recounting the tales and learning of the betrayal of Edfrith. I think I got that name right. Egfrith. And now Meneldir wants us to search for scattered rangers. And that's what we're going to be doing here today. I am actually a little under my level, though, so I have considered whether I should maybe just go in and take care of a few uh, quests here, like take care of these ruddy more wolves. But that would involve largely going back to what players have already seen, so I'm kind of just sort of forging ahead and, uh, you know, letting that happen, but... But I could use some XP, to be honest. I could probably level up some. It would be good. I might be biting off more than my, I can chew if I'm not careful. Our resolve must not falter. Let me get into my steed. See, this doesn't feel right. But I'm going the wrong way. I need to turn around. That's what I need to do. But, like I say, I'm mostly just kind of getting settled here. Actually, I'm mostly just trying to think of bear names. Maybe I need to stop doing that. Do I? Yeah. No way. All right. Well, I kind of need to go back and do some questing anyway, so maybe I should just do that. Chill for a bit. Oh, okay. Karanost. That's where I need to head. But I can get some of this questing done here with, uh, let's see, which one's a madness spread? So, yeah, that's just the big one. And that just means taking out creatures. Easy enough. How about Oryx? Do they count? Let's find out. But yes, I am generally in Cardolan at the moment.
I'm open to your questions. I don't know that we have a whole lot, though, do we? Because uh, I think we've got a pretty detailed list of what we're working on. You even saw some of the... Uh, I saw Orion had posted some PVMP-related chat. So, uh, in the Bullroar forums. I could say related to the forums that some work is underway to get uh, the new forum staged. It's going to be a little while yet. Um, but I was taking a look at the new forum kind of structure. I was setting it all up uh, yesterday. You know, putting in all the announcements and release notes forums and all the servers and etc. Uh, you know, setting everything up to, to kind of mimic what the existing forums look like. And um, I'm pretty excited to give it a run through and, and see where we end up uh, by time of release. There's a couple of particular features I'm testing out that I don't know, you know, are going to make it live as they were. It depends on their functionality and, and how they work. But there's a couple of things you can do um, related to maybe longer article style posts or uh, questions. Like you could do kind of... Um, can't think of exactly what the the big name of it is is it Cora or something like that where someone can ask a question people can provide answers and then others can upvote those answers um, in a way that surfaces it right after the question so like you can do things like that to kind of call out good answers and and such so you know I'm seeing what I can do there and I'm gonna kind of enable a few of these kind of bits and see how it all works out but if it all works out it could be pretty exciting I, i'm kind of liking the the look and feel of the new forums and and by the time we get it live it's going to look uh i think pretty good so uh some work was done on that this week that was pretty exciting and at some point i'll i'll be able to share probably a work in progress but we're just not there yet uh it's still in pretty early stages really But yeah, so it's got like a, a default of four different kinds of posts. One would be kind of regular forum style post. One is an article, which I, I'm not 100% sure what the difference is. I think what it does is it expands it in a way. Um, and then has the post below it kind of look more almost like comments to an article. I think that's kind of how it's supposed to work. And then one is polling. It has more robust polling than the existing forums do and then the fourth one would be uh, a question style post which does what I described in general I'm gonna have to play around with it there is like upvoting and downvoting of posts and such and and we'll see I don't want to bring back anything like the reputation system of the old V bulletin I was never really a fan of the reputation system if you remember that from way back in the day but upvoting and downvoting of posts can actually have some use, even downvoting. And one of the big reasons to downvote, um, there are a lot of reasons not to allow downvoting, let's be clear. But one of the reasons to allow downvoting would be to help differentiate loud requests, demands, however you want to say it, from perhaps more populous demands. You know, you can have that the, what do the kids say? They, they could see it ratioed. And uh, so sometimes, you know, if, if there are particularly loud voices on the forums, it can be, there can be a danger in believing that, you know, there's a large number of people that believe that way when in fact it's maybe a, a small group, smaller group of people who are persistent about it because they really feel strongly that they want it. And one way that you can help kind of differentiate that is to have an up and down voting of like suggestions and posts. It opens up all sorts of kind of personality conflicts and other things that, you know, make it questionable whether you should actually do it or not. Uh, but it's something I'm kind of taking a look at and playing around with a little bit. And it's something that we could say like turn on as a test and then disable it or something like that too. But I'm considering it because it does have the ability to not just, you know, upvoting can also raise things depending on how you wish to have your forums displayed. You can sort by like most highest voted and things like that. And if you do that, you can get some real high quality content um, 
over time especially from forums once you know older things kind of fall off the page and what have you so it's all something to consider as as community manager talk but uh but we'll see i'm, I'm not expecting the new forums to be radically different like i said i've set up pretty much all of the categories and forums are going to carry over at the moment just based on personal edict i think i'm nixing the forums and lottery thing because if, if you want to talk about the forums you can do it in general and it never saw enough posts to justify it uh in it i want i'm doing a few uh things um currently i'm breaking up some of the adventuring in middle earth to something like landscape and content and then the other one will be instances raids you know missions delvings something like that so that we can kind of have a one section to talk about the the general kind of landscape and content of the game and another to specifically talk about raids and instances uh, and that was actually based in part on a suggestion from the community uh, there was a a frequent forum user who was like hey maybe if you are doing the new forums could you think about doing something like this and i saw it and i was like you know that's actually a pretty good idea i think we will do that so we're gonna we're gonna maybe do that Uh, you were right to be concerned, Swengo. Uh, <laughs> the naming thing is going to be tricky. So we are starting fresh with new forms. We, we have to. Um, we just can't succeed in bringing new high-quality forums to the game if we try to shoehorn in all the existing cruft that makes the current forums occasionally not very great. Um... But my belief is that most people will be able to quickly get their username and will not have an issue with someone sniping it. And if so, well, we'll just have to deal with it. Uh, I can rename people. Um, but it is true that everyone will start fresh. The existing forums will go into a read-only state, so you can copy over anything you want to copy over. Um over time or immediately as you wish you're right though there is going to be a section where I, I do expect a little bit of pain as we sort of deal with names but my hope is that most people who are frequent users of the forums have the ability to grab their name real quick and probably will anyway and that's fine um and then we'll just have to deal with it but long term it's going to be worth going through that pain point on the titles for extra life specifically we're going to have uh, an issue. Although I'm still looking into what I want to do there. I could recreate all the titles in the system and people can grant them. If, if we want to go that route, I could do that. Or I just sort of grant everyone all their stuff. Um, I think, though, I would prefer to, if possible, let people just pick their own titles. And then they can give themselves as many titles as they want to and kind of do away with the sort of management and adjudication of the titling system on the forums altogether. I'd like to do that with avatars too, and I'll see if I can do that. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but if I can do avatars too, I want to just let everyone pick their own avatar, you can pick your own title, and, and it'll be fun, I think. But... I may, uh, I haven't yet been able to fully validate that that is in fact possible. So once I get there, uh, I'll have more to say about that. But that would be the goal, if it can be done. No ETA to announce yet. So we're getting there, right? Because I just talked about some of the work that I have to do. And that's probably about 10% of the total work that needs to be done to get the forum staged. And then when it gets the forums kind of staged internally, what we'll do is we'll stick a whole bunch of devs on it. 
and will take a couple of days to just make rando posts and sort through functionality and see what it looks like. Uh, I know we're going to have to deal with some kind of font and casing and, and value of the background over value of the text, etc. You know, I know all that has to happen, so we will. And uh, then it needs to get scheduled with the various operations people that need to do the work to both deploy the new forums and archive the existing forums. And that'll need to be just added to the schedule when it's ready. So the ETA is, is too far off to really know for sure, but it is something we are actively working on. So I would expect to see that um, potentially within the next few months. And that's about as close as I could get. It may actually, uh, my guess is it may actually be more than a few months, but it, I don't think it'll be, I don't think it'll be like um, late this year or anything. I expect it to be out potentially by like, say the summer. That would be the hope anyway. Come on, I just need a few more of these beech nuts. Where are they? That tree over there, maybe? Yep. Sweet. Yeah, and that's the other thing, too, is, we, you know, it. there's no mad rush to do it. You know, we, we clearly want to get it done. We have... A lot of reasons to do it but it's worth taking the time to uh, make sure that it's got all the functionality and look that we want to do because it's often hard to carve out time in the future to correct the errors of the past and uh, that's something I think especially when it comes to forums it can be difficult to um, once everyone's in and doing all their stuff to then kind of go back and adjust things I think everyone who's managed forums for a very long time is probably, you know, probably aware. Did I not complete the ready more wolf pack? Nope, I need to defeat Moorland Slinkers. All right, which ones are they? Not these guys. These are the Howlers. The Slinkers must be the... That's it. Oh, there we go. But I am pretty excited about what I've seen so far. Like I say, it's in a very early state, but uh, it's looking pretty good, so... I'm excited. I think there's also an opportunity to, you know really just make sure we give people what they want in terms of forum names, uh, uh, like kind of different sorts of sub forums and what have you. But I'm not really expecting to do anything too radical. Um, I'm mostly just keeping it like it was with a few name changes and category changes. I'm also carving out a section specifically for um, content creators, YouTubers, streamers, artists you know i really want to have a more robust section where it's like hey just i'll let people know that you're you're streaming out you're on twitch or youtube or you got a video and what have you and i want to have a separate section of the forums for that so that'll be under like a community section i'm still gonna have of course the player event section as well nice and i'm also doing a a bit of a change that uh, is a carryover from the other game side that I just think works better. And that is that I'm separating out the announcements and the service news. Right now on the Lotro side, we have long had the system where uh, the announcements forum is for like downtime, spring festival, bonus days, everything. 
Whereas on the DDO side, we have one for announcements and one for service news. And the service news is specifically all downtimes. That's all it is. And it separates it out and lets you find it easier, and it's just cleaner. Uh, I like it better. So I'm going to be doing that on the Lotro forums as well as separating out announcements from service news. One of the things I have yet to kind of figure out what I want to do with is that on the DDO side, the announcements forum has long allowed commenting. So, for example, if we announce bonus days, you know, of whatever the bonus happens to be that weekend, 10% Virtue XP or something, and then people want to comment on it, they can just comment on it in the announcement thread. But on the Lotro side, commenting has always been turned off on announcements. And on the one hand, some people, I think, like it because they it gives them the opportunity to just read the announcement without having to read everything else. But it also kind of means that the threads have to be recreated then and generally by someone in general or something to talk about the announcement that we just made. And so... I am kind of in favor of allowing commenting on announcements, but I know that it may be a touchy issue with some people who would prefer not to see that. So I guess I'm fairly open as to what people really want me to do with it. Um, but that would be my general inclination, would be to allow it, because I find it more practical. Right, where do I need to turn in this last quest? Right there. I'm basically there, aren't I? Alright. Oh, those are the missions. Okay. Alright. Maybe inside Crossway House. It's true, though. So what you do have is that when you do occasionally need to make announcements that are less popular, it does tend to lead to harsher threads um, that can be, you know, a little more challenging to deal with. But, but, overall, um, I think I want to do it anyway. But I, I'm fairly open. Like, if, if a whole bunch of people are like, no. All right. Rendall's house in the southwest corner of Heron. Yeah, it's really, I mean, I don't know that there's a right or wrong answer to it, um, actually. I think it's personal preference. No, this is not Rendall's house. Where's Rendall's house? Is that this one? Yes. <gasps> you found a lot. Mr. Rendall comes back. I'm going to plant so many trees with him. Cool. Uh, I cannot say what the new class is going to be. I apologize. We'll have more information about that as we get closer to it. People have sussed out an awful lot already. But we'll have a whole lot more to say. Greetings, friend. 
Really? Have I not been to Karadost? Guess I haven't. Well, that's fine. We'll just ride out there. So overall, the commenting and the announcements, it, it's also nice for things like, say, the Spring Festival, because you can have all a bunch of feedback about, say, what people like and dislike about the Spring Festival in a more official place that you can, oop, wrong way, that you can kind of comment on and keep for future reference and all that sort of thing. Not like it's particularly difficult to keep track of a thread in general either. So, you know, and it's, like I say, in some ways this is comes down to personal preference. <laughs> Am I going to name my character Horsair? No. Uh, Martin, thank you for bringing that up. So I know that that had been discussed recently that we have some things to say about crafting. I have not yet seen that dev diary. Uh, I know that it's coming, but I don't know when on it yet. I think it's it's not quite ready yet. Uh, but yes, I would expect to get some information in the coming couple of months at least, right? About, about it, so... I'm just kind of taking care of some XP needs. I was hearing from Scenario recently as well. We're in the process of planning our next casual stroll. And I think that's going to be a bit of a look of the content that we'll be focusing on in the spring. And I think we're going to have some, some Gondor-related uh, scenery, both new and old, to take a look at here in the next casual stroll. So we'll have some more information about that. That's not going to be until... Well, I don't know when that's going to be. I need to talk with him about the timing of it. But not going to be for a little bit yet. Um, I think I think roughly the week of PAX East is when, we're, when we have that one scheduled. So um, I guess that would put it around the 22nd. But there should be some pretty cool things that, that I know Scenario is hoping to be able to show you on that stream. We have another one, too. There was one particular thing that we were like, can we? Can we show them this? And the answer was, no, we can't. Not yet. Uh, but we will soon. Uh, but we have something else I know that you'll be pretty excited to see in a future casual stroll as well. There we go. Greetings, friend. It is good to see friendly faces after the days we have had. This is where rangers assemble to recover. So far, we've been beneath notice of the shadows that chase us from Sarn forward. We are the lucky ones. If you can thin the number of our foes in the surrounding area, other rangers may be able to make it here to Sirlond. So defeat foes in the South Downs. Okay. While I'm at it, let me pick up these other quests. Rendall. Hello. 
Collect uh, flowers, Atlas, Atlas. Have you a moment? Okay, I need to look at some towers here. Have you a moment? Yeah, we're heading into battle here. This could be a uh, quest available here, too. All right. So, uh, Editor Ranel, I happened to watch a video not that long ago, which I thought was kind of interesting. Um, let me just kind of get a sense of where I want to go for things. All right. Okay, yeah, the Aethelus is down here. I remember this. Okay. I was reading recent, or I watched a video recently about spinach, about the idea of eating spinach and being a strong food. It was like an early example of mass market advertising. Spinach is in itself not not really all that great a source of like protein and things. So, but it worked, and so we all just think of spinach and Popeye, don't we? The one Rendell mentioned, yeah? No ordinary traveler would go around seeking danger. Well, I've got something to ask you. All right. Well, why don't I dismount a sec? I think we're, we're going to be going crossing this bridge and getting into some fighting. This could be a little tricky. Some of these, I am just a level 21 burglar. Uh, let me see. Try to take it a little slow and steady at the start, see how I do. Um... Someone is asking, Martin is asking, whether we will ever see the cosmetic steeds that came with the Mortar Ultimate expansions offered for a separate sale in the Lotro store. Uh, that is something that could potentially happen in the future, but I have nothing to announce at this time. I am sorry to say. It's something that's come up because both, you know, the Ultimate editions of those expansions are no longer no longer really relevant uh, due to their existence in the Trove and such. Although there are some folks who would like us to bring them back. And so I think there, you know, there's a discussion to be had there about what we could do. And I don't think as yet we've got uh, an exact plan in mind.
Um, so what held us back from being able to open the beta was uh, an unfortunate build issue we ran into. Um, we were trying to prop up the build to Bullroar, and we just kept on running into mm, a specific part of the build process that just was not functioning as it needed to. And so we had to scrap we had to scrap it and kind of sick some technical folks of being getting it ready to go. And uh, that work is being done. So we should be fine for next week, you know. But technical issue ultimately in being able to get Bullroar deployed was the reason. It had to be postponed this week. So I've been trying to do tasks on this low level character a little bit to just sort of get XP since I'm mostly focusing on the epic story on the live stream it seemed like it might make sense to um, get some XP from tasks while I'm at it <laughs> it's kind of useful kind of useful that is it not Just de stealthed me. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, um, properly updated Druid's Fire that the uh, Trove doesn't exist anymore. Clearly, I'm behind in my knowledge of it. Uh, but regardless, we will have to sort of sort through what we would what we want to do if if anything related to it so i know some folks would like to see us uh, bring it back I need to remember to use that more than I do. So it's true that they were meant, they were created explicitly without the guarantee that they would be, you know, exclusive, right? They, the goal was, you know, we can offer them well into the future. And we did, you know, they were available for years, for years. Um, and they could well come back again in the future. We have not, uh, we sort of deliberately made it so that we could bring them back if we wanted to.
need oh, there's a next car or the last Karanost warrior I was a little afraid about just walking in here by my lonesome but uh, it turned out just fine I don't know that I've heard of any intention to shorten the respawn time on uh, creatures that award trophies, trophy critters as you describe them in Swan Fleet and Cardalon. a lookout around here. Am I incorrect about that? Alright, so what do I got left? Alright, Crumbled Tower is off to the east. And, well, actually, and south. So maybe I should head to the south and see that. An enemy's vantage point. Still not that way. <laughs> Maybe that one up there, huh? Okay. Well, thank you so much, uh, X Christy X. I definitely see you streaming Lotro. It's awesome. this? No. That worked. So the tower is still let's see, down here. Well, let me go the Cordovan method then. Yay! Boink. I've already been here. Here we go. Okay. Head to the south. See if I can find my way over to Are you saying you want to be on camera? Really? Okay. Well, I'm in the middle of a fight right now, but as soon as I'm done... All right. We 
have a cat that wants to go outside. Hello, everyone. I see. Okay. She's like, this is not what I wanted at all. You're supposed to take me outside instead. So. Yep. Well, so there we are. And I get oh I guess she's telling me it's now almost one o'clock so she's like hey you need to you know pay attention to me now your time with humans is done it is time to take me out as I command which I is probably true I probably will in a few minutes as she well knows. Kind of a risky place to uh, log out. We'll see. <laughs> it's true. It's 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 not just the internet that demands my time. I have a cat. On the plus side, I never need an alarm. because uh, I have an alarm. It's an organic one. And it lets me know every morning when it's time for me to get up. When I was out on vacation, the cat sitter w I was arriving early in the morning because, I don't know, they're a cat sitter and they have a whole bunch of things to do. Um, so she was used, she got used to getting her breakfast about an hour earlier than I was providing it to her. And so when that ended and I came back from vacation, she was like, okay, so the new time where you feed me breakfast is now an hour earlier than you are. Oops. Oh, I might have screwed myself up here. Or no. Well, may have to stuck my way out of that one. Well, that's fine. That's what I get for jumping off cliffs. And so we've been, there have been discussions in the morning about when the proper time to feed the cat is. And uh, turns out it's when I want to feed her. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. She disagrees. It's still in discussion. So, All right, well, that is going to wrap it up then for Court of the Rings uh, for this week. I'll be back next Friday with a bunch more. We'll probably do some more questing. We'll have Bull Roar to talk about. We'll have the Spring Festival, so maybe we'll end up running some Spring Festival stuff instead. Hope you have a great weekend, and I will talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.